Okay, so I've done effectively three things today. Uh, I watched the new Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree trailer, uh, which looks amazing, right? Uh, I love Elden Ring. I love everything From Software puts out, uh, or at least in the Souls series. I'm not really an Armored Core guy, sorry. Uh, watched that, wrote about that. Uh, Got excited about that because it comes out a day after my birthday. Uh, so then I went, I went and bought myself an early birthday present. Got the collector's edition, uh, with this, which is a Mesmer the Impaler statue. I don't know. I'll put it in my office with my, uh, you know, my Melania statue and the other statues um, I have from these games. Anyways, that's the first thing. Probably the best thing. I also wrote a post uh, uh, about Deadlock which is a really great mystery series set in Tasmania. It is uh, It stars two fem female lead detectives. Uh, one of them is a lesbian. Uh, there's a lot of indigenous characters. It actually has a lot of crazy similarities to Night Country, but it's a great mystery. Um, and it, and it, while it's a very pro progressive, I would say progressive show, it's not preachy. Um, and I really recommend it. I recommend it to people who don't maybe... Um, I recommend it to people who, who bandy about the word woke, uh, because I think that, that what, we, what you might learn is that things aren't necessarily bad because they are, are because they have, you know, diversity and inclusion in the, uh, these stories can be bad because they're too preachy and they're not just trying to tell a good story and Deadlock does. Um, excuse me. Um. The third thing I did was argue with Callie Reese on Twitter a bunch, and her fans descended upon me. So let's look at this tweet. Um, she tweeted, she, she retweeted, she quote tweeted, um, she said, this is funny as fuck, exactly how I picture them. And the tweet is from somebody posting the, uh, the World of Warcraft guy from South Park, you know, the guy that just sits, sits around and trolls everybody, um, and what, that was a really funny episode. But anyways, uh, the tweet says, there's a certain type of person that's very angry and triggered by the new season of True Detective, True Detective Night Country, and will never admit that it was a pretty good season and great finale. It's pretty obvious they hate the show because it has female leads showrunner. All right. <sighs> so, this tweet is doing one thing. It is, it is laying a trap. Right? It is saying there's a certain type of person. They hate women, right? But what it's what it's actually doing, right? The the way that's that it's structured is saying that if you will never admit that this show is a pretty good season and a great finale, if you don't do that, then you are this type of person that hates women. It's not saying some people didn't like this show because they hate women. And those people will never admit that it's good. Well, that even would be wrong. Okay. I personally, I will never admit that this is a good season and a great finale. Right? But what this tweet does, the trap it lays, is it says, if, if I will never admit that, I must be this type of person who hates women. That's what this tweet is, is, is doing. And she retweeted that. And I retweeted her, and then she responded to me, and we went back and forth. And I won't go into all of that, because it, it, the, the point is her fans descended upon me, and, um, and uh, you, know, you know, all the usual stuff. I'm a, I'm a cis white male. I'm a man. I should shut up. I'm a white person. I should shut up. Uh, how dare I uh, say this when Kali has been harassed by racists and sexists? They say, well, saying sexist and racist things to me, which I don't, I mean, whatever, I can take it, but it is ironic and a little hypocritical. And you see responses to this, like somebody saying that they got torn apart in the original True Detective subreddit for expressing how happy I was to see people like myself on screen, Native women. And I just wonder where this was, because I don't think that that's really allowed on the subreddit. Like, I've never seen people uh, getting mad at someone for saying that they were happy to see Native people on screen in the subreddit. Like, this is a, a false narrative. Yeah, there are racists. Yes, there are sexists. But 
again, like so much of the criticism around the show has nothing to do with it being women or natives. It has to do with the story. But we can't even criticize the story anymore because if you do that, I mean, I've been told by people that every single one of my reviews is just dripping with misogyny. Um, every single one of my reviews is just is just so obvious that I hate women. I don't understand how that's possible. <laughs> like, if you've actually read my reviews, I don't like these women because they are basically, they remind me of toxic dude bros that I've met. You know, angry, aggressive, violent, constantly bossing people around, swearing up, up and down at being unpleasant, not listening to people, <laughs> aggressive sexually, treating their partners badly, racist. I mean, these are not exactly what I would call strong female characters, but that seems to be what Hollywood wants us to, th to think are strong female characters. Um, I talk, in, in my piece about Deadlock, I talk about um, how the characters, in the, the female detectives in that show, are, are not presented as just wholly unlikable, but rather complex, sometimes funny, sometimes, um, you know, flawed. They, you know, they have backstories that, that affect them. They have uh, a sense of humor, but also, you know, different, they're very different people. Just human. They are presented as human. And I would like to see, you know, in a show about female detectives or a show about any female, or any characters at all, really, that they don't have to be female, just characters, uh, complexity. And while you, you can have characters like Danvers and Navarro who are just angry and aggressive and kind of awful all the time, uh, it's more interesting if you have characters that are complicated. And, and, you know, that have sometimes maybe, maybe if, if just Danvers had been a, a total asshole, but Navarro had been more of a goofball or, you know, I don't know. Can't we just have real people? Like, can't we have the sense of like what a strong female character is to me is just so demeaning towards women and the defense of it, the, the constant accusations that people just hate women if they don't like the show seems to me to be victimizing uh, women, re treating women as victims. Let me find what. Okay, so I wrote, it is deeply sexist to use the you just hate women line to respond to critics of a TV show like Night Country. It implies that women themselves cannot dislike the show. It white knights for women and argues that all shows with women must be good simply because they feature women. It casts strong women as victims. This means that really excellent female-led shows like Deadlock or Mayor of Easttown are on the same level and that they ought to only be judged based on having strong women in them rather than, rather than by any of their other qualities. That's nonsense and demeaning toward the very women you're supposedly championing. Women should want great, well-written shows, not just shows that make their strong women act like toxic dude bros. So yes, it is all of you claiming that the only reason someone could ever dislike Night Country is because they hate women who are actually engaging in sexism, and not toward men, but toward women. You are making them victims in your bullshit culture war. I would rather see more great shows like the first season of Yellow Jackets and its complex female cast, or one that I've just started, Happy Valley, that features a truly powerful good female lead that stand on their own two feet rather than these sad pity parties you're throwing for Night Country. You're allowed to like Night Country. I don't think you like it because you hate men. But the moment you resort to claiming that any critic of the show must hate it because they hate women, you become the very thing you claim to despise. And I wish you could see it, I really do. Because we could have a much better conversation that way. What else can I say? I got in a fight with, with, with Detective Navarro, and I wouldn't want to in real life because she'd, she'd probably kick my ass. You saw what she did to... Uh, to poor Ray Raymond Clark. He hit her over the head with a freaking fire extinguisher and she still beat his ass. <laughs> and honestly, you know what? I think, you know, I think the actors did a fine job in this show. I have nothing against any of the actors. I think they did a fine job. I think they were given a shitty script and, and in poor direction. And I think that's what I come back to most of the time. Most of the time, uh, outside of certain shows like Fear the Walking Dead, uh, the actors in these do a pretty good job. And I feel like if they were given better scripts, then these shows would be 
better for them. <laughs> you know, like I'm not attacking the actors. I actually want the actors to work on projects that they can be really proud of that, that don't, and, 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 and yeah, of course, people who are only attacking this because there's women in it, that's terrible. But I think, you know, I think there are so many shows that have, you know, you know I, I just look back, almost everyone says that Silence of the Lambs is a great movie. And it has a female detective as its main character. In fact, played by the same character who plays Danvers, Jodie Foster. Uh, why is there not a constant barrage of people saying what a terrible movie that is because of women? It, it's, it also features white men as the bad guys. It's a story about women, good guy, men, bad guys. People still love it. Oh, um, I, I don't know anybody who doesn't love that movie. Uh, Fargo, the movie Fargo, female protagonist. And uh, again, people love it. Far it, it just, at a certain point, you can't defend every bad show or movie or video game that has a woman or a minority lead because they're women or minorities. Because that is diminishing the talent of women and minorities and in, in movies and shows and video games where, where they're actually, you know, where it's actually good. Uh, so I'm just rambling now. I'm a little fried. Uh, Twitter, Twitter really brings me down, man. Um, I can really, I can really sympathize with actors who, who are harassed on Twitter and constantly told, you know, harassed based on their appearance, their sex, their, um, sexual orientation or gender or, um, you know, I don't know. It's it's crazy to me. It's it's crazy. It's crazy how often I am am attacked based on my my race or my sex. And I know it would be much worse if I was a woman or a minority. But it's crazy to me that the people that are defending women and minorities would attack people based on those very same things. It just seems so deeply hypocritical. Like I've never attacked anyone based on their race or gender or. Or, 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 or their beard. <laughs> like, I will attack you based on your stupid fucking ideas and the dumb shit you say. Um, and I will criticize your show if it's so full of plot holes that uh, you can barely find your way through it. So, anyways, watch Deadlock. Even though I know a lot of you probably don't typically watch shows that are you know, very LGBTQ forward, very, you know, all about, that's very diversity inclusion, but it does it in the right way. And I think that's so important to acknowledge when it's done in the right way. And it has such a great twist that was so surprising. And, and, and really, uh, I, I won't spoil it, but the ending knocks it out of the park. So anyways, all right, I'm done. Uh, peace and love, peace to Cali Reese. I have no bones to pick here. Uh, I just think that that was a bad tweet to retweet. I think it's. I think it was a sneaky trap designed to just say anybody who was a critic of the show is actually a, a sexist woman hater. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all that shit. Peace. Thank you.